Hi, children. Today we are going to talk about the story of David, of how he、um, take care of the、um, habitation of the Ark of God, and then wanted to build a house for God. You can、uh, find more details about the story in the book of Second Samuel, chapter six to seven in the Bible. Before we go into the story, do you remember what is the Ark of God? It is a big Heavy wooden box that was、uh, that has gold coated outside, and then inside the box there were three things. The first is the two stone tablets where Moses wrote his Ten Commandments on. The second is a sprouting staff. The third is a jaw, golden jaw of manna. And this box is not a regular box. It's、um, it's not just a storage place. But the three things that、um, inside the box reminded the people of Israel what God had done for them, and then so in short words, the ark represents God, just like a policeman's badge represents the policeman. So you can think,、uh, you you understand that this ark of God is holy by nature, and then for a period of time, the ark of God was captured by Israel's enemy. Philistines, and、um, <laughs> and then I didn't live well with the ark because God,、uh, the ark caused all the Philistines to become ill, and then they got scared and they want to get rid of it. So、um, they put the ark on a wagon or a cart, by to- towed by oxes, and then they just let the oxes go free. No one else is leading the oxes, and. And amazingly, the the oxes carry、uh, the ark、uh, to go to the direction of Israel.、Um, and that time, the king of Israel is David, who loves God very much, and wanted to bring the ark of God back to Israel. But then, however,、um, David forgot to follow the rule that God set off for how to move the ark. The rule is only Levites. A tribe of Israel who were specially trained to serve God are qualified to to lift the ark. But then David forgot about this. Instead, he used a car towed by oxes to carry the ark, just like what Philistine did. And God was not happy about that. So on their way home,、uh, the oxes、uh, suddenly stumble and. The ark almost、um, going to fall out of the the cart, and before it hit the ground, a man along the the the, the cargo、um, called Uza、uh, reached out his hand for the ark, and、uh, get, took a hold of it so it wouldn't hit the ground. But then, of course, Uza is not a Levite, and God was angry. For this arrow, and then he struck him, so Uza died instantly、um, nearby the ark. And then you can imagine David and, and his people that time were probably very、um, upset and scared、um, because their own good intention was was punished by God. They didn't realize that their own、uh, thought. That、um, they can help God or even save God, save God. That kind of thought offended God very much.、Um, so that time David was afraid to、um, bring the ark home, so、uh, he led it to a foreigner's country and just leave it there.、Uh, three months later,、uh, someone told David that Jehovah has done many things to bless that foreign country, just because the ark was there. And then after they heard that, he rejoiced, and then he rose up, and then go、um, bring the ark、um, back home, with singing and dancing, and rested the ark in a tent. After a while,、uh, David thought to himself, "He as the king lived in a house that Jehovah gave him、uh, rest all around from all his enemies, but the ark of God." Which represent God Himself, dwells within a tent, a mobile home. 
Does this make sense? I live in a house, but God lived in a tent. So it doesn't. Um, so that's why uh, you can see that. That's how you can see that David cares that God cares about God a lot. And then, um, but then this time he learned his lesson. He didn't just go straight build a house for God. He wanted to inquire God's opinion. And then, so he went to uh, the prophet Nathan about this, about uh, and and tell him about his thoughts about building uh, God a house. And then, um, I think God's heart was touched by David because God spoke uh, to David through Nathan, saying, "Is it you?" Who will build me a house to dwell in? Obviously, God was surprised that a mortal man,、uh, who not just caring about himself, but care about me, care about what God needs.、Um, God said, "Since the day I brought the children of Israel out of Egypt to this day, I've always lived in a tent or a tabernacle. I have never lived in a house." I led you guys to the good land and have your own houses, and kept your enemies away from you. But did I ever ask anyone of Israel to build a house for me to live? It feels like although God never thought about building a house for Himself, but He cherished David's consideration for Him.、Um, so He said, so God said, Jehovah the Host, therefore declares to you. That Jehovah will make you a house, and who will build a house for my name, I will establish his kingdom forever. So Israel will be forever blessed. God responded to David's love with far more surpassing love than anyone can imagine. May we all be the person who loves God like David.、Um, this is today's story. I hope you enjoyed it.